Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something for the first time that's a little bit different on this channel and we're going to look at the Autodesk DWG TrueView application. So for those of you who don't know what TrueView is, is it is a free AutoCAD Autodesk program that allows you to view AutoCAD files in the DWG format. So this is very useful if you don't want to spend all the money on AutoCAD but you still want to access and open um, files within the DWG format from AutoCAD. You can also do minor things like measure, which we're going to review in the video today. You will not be able to do things like draw lines or really edit the drawing at all. It's more of just a viewer to be able to print and measure specific objects if you need to. With that being said, in this video, we're going to learn how to measure objects. We're going to learn how to take angles and look at how to get things like the radius of a circle. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel. This has been huge for me lately. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you like the video or find it helpful, give it a like down below. If you think someone else would benefit from watching this video, give it a share. And if you want to see something else done in AutoCAD or in TrueView, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so as you can see here, within the Autodesk TrueView section, you're going to have three shapes here, and I've kind of pre-made this. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the angles of the triangle, we're going to take the radius of the circle and we're going to take the side measurements of that rectangle down there. Now to do this, we're going to make sure we're going to come up to measure. And as you can see here, there's only one tab. It's going to be the home tab. So you don't have to worry about anything else. We're going to come up to measure, which is this box right here. And we're going to click on this little drop down. As you can see here, there's distance, radius, angle, area, and volume. I'll make another video for area and volume. So right now we're just going to focus on distance, radius, and angle. But if you go to the distance, we're going to click there. And we're going to come down here to the rectangle. Now I click distance. We're going to say we want to measure from this side right here to this side. So I'm going to click this. And then I'm going to come over here. We're going to drag this line that it's kind of pulling out like a tape measure. And we're going to come right here. I'm going to click it, left click. And as you can see here, nothing pops up on the screen. What does happen is down below near the command bar, that is where your uh, measurement is going to display and show. So as you can see here, it says distance, 7 foot, 7 inches, and some change. And then we're going to click enter. And then we're going to come specify the next point. We want to measure this to here. And there you have 1 foot, 5 inches down there. It doesn't show on the screen. You have to look down in the command bar. Not great, in my opinion. It would be awesome if it could show you on the screen as well. But again... They want you to pay for the software, so they can't give you everything, but at least you can measure with this. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to the circle, so we're going to come back up to the measure box. We're going to click the down, and we're going to come to radius. Now when we come to radius, I'm going to come here to the circle, and as you can see here, it changed from that crosshair to this little pick box. We're going to left click on the circle, and then if you look down below, same area where Hold on, remove this so you can see it. Same area where we just saw the distance. You'll see the radius at 4 feet, and you'll see the diameter at 8 feet. So it gives you both the radius and the diameter of that circle. The last thing we'll do is we'll do the uh, angles of this triangle. So we want to click Enter again to get out of it. Oop, escape this time. We already clicked Enter. And we're going to come down here to Measure, and we're going to click the Angle button. Now we're going to come to this triangle, and what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to click the two lines that create the angle or lead up to the angle to measure the angle. So we're going to take this angle right here, and then this one, and as you can see down below, the angle is 62 degrees. We'll do that again. We're going to click Enter, and we're going to come right here, right here, and this angle is 28 degrees, which means that last angle is going to be 90 degrees. So that's how you're going to measure the angle, the radius, diameter, and dimension lengths of basic shapes. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Pretty quick and short lesson. Shouldn't have been too difficult. Again, TrueView is not meant to be AutoCAD. It's meant for a very basic version of what AutoCAD can do. You're not meant to be able to design or edit in this app. So with that being said, again, subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, give it a like down below. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.